What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft stipulation. We're doing we're doing like a million stipulations. So if you guys are watching on YouTube and you're like, can you just do a normal draft? I'm tired of doing stipulations. Uh, I apologize in advance, uh, but there were a bunch of stipulations that were uh, supplied. So we're trying to get through all those. This one is uh, happy birthday, a happy birthday stipulation from the Nemo Six Mono Color Deck. Your first pick selects the color. Brown cards and lands don't count. No multicolor cards. Um, this could be tricky. So we'll see. Uh, ideally, you know, there might be a pack where we have to pick a an off color card because there's just no no brown, no land, no guys, no no cards in our color. But we'll see. Can we have a step where we have to keep Hunter in the streaming cabinet? The streaming cabinet? What is the streaming cabinet? I don't even know what that is. Seven out of eight. Let's do it. The area you stream from? I don't stream from a streaming cabinet. The room. Like, the room? <laughs> I stream from a room, guys. Oh, you guys are making this much more complicated. There's also a fly flying around again. I feel like we got rid of the flies, but now they're back. Well, well this one fly is back. And I'm getting really... I'm, I've had it up to here, guys. If you guys want to build me a streaming cabinet, I could I could probably stream from it. I think that's an option. All right, what do we got here? <clears throat> no multicolor cards, so that's good to know. Because if we didn't know about it, we wouldn't be able to take it. I'm really tempted to take this phantasmal image, or this dig through time actually. Could also take Shondor or Silverblade Paladin. Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. Hmm 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 hmm. You're a streamer, Harry. Oh, um, dum, 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 bum, bum. Now I have that. Now I have the Miles Davis stuck in my head from from earlier. Can we have a draft where you wear a green turtleneck? So it looks like you're just yes, yes, we can. I just have to get that. Um, it's one, two, three, or four. Chandra is fine, but it does, it does force us into red. Oh my god, these this fly is like actually really aggressive. I'm going to take the dig. I think the dig is the strongest card, and I also think blue is one of the colors I will enjoy drafting most. Sower of Temptation, it is. All, we could also take Talarian Academy. Talarian Academy seems very, very good, especially if we can get a bunch of artifacts. Yeah, I'm going to risk it for the Talarian Academy. I think that's our... our well, this could work out quite well. Now we get a Tinker, boys. This is going to be a good blue stip, ladies and gentlemen. Emotes weren't working again, so that means Amazon ran out, but I fixed it. What does that even mean, Risa? What are you even saying right now? Time spiral. We're just they're just literally like here's all the combo pieces. <laughs> all right, let's just force them into uh, Tinker and Storm at the same time. He'll love it. I kind of wish um, tr Trophy Mage was in this queue instead of Trinket Mage. It's I don't think it's time spiral. I think it's sort of body and mind. We have a Tinker. And we have a Talarian Academy, so we kind of want artifacts. Ideally, we'll get cheaper artifacts than this, but... Risa, thank you so much for the sub. Amazon Prime sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Six months in a row. Thank you. You were a kind soul. Oh, sort of Fire and Ice. A Boros Signet. Mirror Battlesphere is good with Tinker. I think we take the Mirror Battlesphere here. Even though Sword of Fire and Ice is one of my favorite swords. Actually, Jace Architect of Thought is also very, very good. Ugh. 
Yeah, I think it's actually Battle Sphere, especially with Tinker and Talarian Academy. Oh, I like a Spell Pierce, surprisingly enough. I'm going to take Spell Pierce here. That's a real sweet Gotham. High Tide, really? Really? I don't think we're... This is ridiculous. Oh, uh, it was an off-color Signet. If it was a blue Signet, I would take it, but I, I'm not really thrilled about an off-color Signet. Um, Wandering Fumeral is actually pretty sweet, because if we get a, uh, a Signet, we can potentially cast it. If we're mono blue, high tide could actually be good here. All right, so now we just these packs like this are rough because then you just have no picks, and we might not have any picks for the remaining few packs. Um, we'll take the bells. Yeah, see, this this is rough. Come on, we have six cards. That's rough. This is going to be rough. And the problem is if you take the if you take the artifacts over blue cards, then people are just going to take the blue cards. If you take the blue cards first, then probably just going to take the the artifacts. So, I mean, there's no real way to prioritize this so that they, the other one comes back to you. Um, I'm just hoping that the internet's still around and the stream didn't die because it looks like we're still good. Oh, Lumbering Falls. So I'm just taking lands at this point because... Yeah, this is brutal. Like, just literally no no artifacts and no... I would take any artifact at this point just for the Talarian Academy. Um, Yeah, I'll take a Tangle Wire. That's actually great with Tinker. We can sacrifice to our own Tinker. I mean, the point of the stipulation... Stipulations in general, uh, are, while a lot of them can be super, super fun, like, you know, the point is to be challenging, so... Wow, the Boros Signet came back. Is Porcelain Legionnaire count? I would rather have the Porcelain Legionnaire, but I'll take the Signet if I have to. I don't know. We're going to have two seconds, so we're probably just taking the Signet. Yeah, it is white, I guess. I guess. I mean, I've never, I've never spent a white mana casting a Porcelain Legionnaire, so... I thought this was a Black Lotus for a second, and I got real excited. And then I got less excited, because it wasn't. Inkwell Leviathan's pretty good, especially with Tinker. Preordain also very, very good. I wonder if Inkwell Leviathan tables, though? See, the, the thing about... The problem with this stipulation is that, like, if there's two colored cards in a pack of yours, like, two, two good blue cards, you have to pick which one you want, and you're probably not going to get the other one back. Take Tinker? I already have Tinker. I don't think you know how Tinker works. I don't think you know how drafting works. These are the cards that are in my in my pack. So, I in my in my pool. So, I already have these. Come on, get it together on Drum Tuna. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, Factor Fiction? Ooh. 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 Um, could be Simic Signet, but I think it's Factor Fiction. And now, like, oh, see, like, this is what I mean. Like, no blue cards whatsoever. That's brutal, dude. Memory jar? That doesn't seem great. 
I mean, do I just take Winter Orb for for the lulls? If we took Steam Vents, we can activate Fumarole, which is a thing. We didn't actually take the Fumarole, though, so we, we can't do that. We could take, uh, we could we could activate Lumbering Falls with a Green Land, but. Uh, I don't think Winter Orb is that fun with Tanglewire, because we're if, we're if we're tapping down the Winter Orb, then our opponents get to untap their land, and then we don't. So that is the opposite of what we want to happen, but I think it's still better than Memory Jar. Mind Slaver, Jace Bellerin. Ooh, Jace Bellerin's good. Search for Escanta, also pretty good. Sheldock Isle, also very good. I don't think any of these four cards are coming back, though, unfortunately. Oh, because both are locking the opponent, I see. I thought you were trying to say, like, you can tap down the winner up with Tanglewire. Yeah, I mean, you, you technically can. But that's probably not in your best interest. Yeah, I don't think we can take Sheldock. We need playables. Um, we also... I mean, I don't think it's... I don't think it's Mind Slaver. If we had Academy Ruins, I think it'd be different. I think it's actually Jace Bellerin. It's definitely not Isle. We have 11 playables in pack 2. We need more playables. Yeah, I'm going to take the Jace. I think Jace is stronger than Search for Azkanta. This is... Ah, this is rough. There's literally no playables in this pack. Uh... I think this tip should have said you can play gold cards. Because, I mean, like, if it's a blue... If it's a blue-black card, it should be fine. As long as it has the blue color identity. Because, like, it's not a matter of, uh... It's just a matter of, like, literally having packs with no playables. Like, the only playable in this pack is Force Spike, unfortunately. So. I mean, I still like a Force Spike, don't get me wrong. Sundering Titan? Could just win you the game. How many big creatures do we need, though? I guess we do have Talarian Academy, so we can actually try to make that work for it. Does Ice is only playing blue? Um, maybe. No multicolor cards. That's correct. That is why I'm actually making... That's why I'm making a point to mention that. <laughs> if it didn't say that, I wouldn't have to mention it. Uh, I think it's better than Treasure Cruise, especially when we have Dig Through Time, so... Maybe we got a game. Why did two of you say that? I don't understand. I was making a point that the stip should this should the stip should allow multicolor cards. I'm saying that because it clearly doesn't, which is why I mean you guys confirming that it doesn't. It's, it's I already know. That's why I'm actually having to say it. The only reason I have to say it is because it exists. Um, mana confluence is probably fine. I mean I can't play any of these other cards. So. Oh, sword came back. Yeah. All right. I mean, Memory Jar, sure. This is the weirdest deck I've ever had. Uh, Shrine is actually reasonable. It's a win con. This sideboard is something magical. <clears throat> well, I wasn't joking. I was being serious. Metal Worker would be gas. Black Lotus would be pretty good. Soul Ring would be good. Ancestral or Time Walk would be good. That's not the mox we were looking for. I wonder if this is a Forge Master deck. I bet Forge Master comes back though, so I'd probably rather just take Frost Titan. Yeah, we're just going to take Frost Titan. I'm not going to take Mox Diamond there. Not a big Mox Diamond fan. Force of Will. You know, as far as blue cards go, that one's pretty good. I will take Force of Will. That pack was also pretty bad. Burm, 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 burm. We do need more ramp. I agree with you. Yeah. 
I mean, what did you guys think I said? I said the, this tip should allow gold cards because uh, then you have the option to play all, all the cards that have blue in them. So, like, I could take this this Tezzeret and actually play it. But, like, you guys seem to thought I meant, like, I'm going to take this Tezzeret and actually play it when I, you know, put it in my sideboard, oddly enough. My point was that, like, this tip should allow gold cards that are in your color identity because that makes it a lot easier. Um, I kind of like Lightning Greaves here. Fencer's good, Impulse is good, but Lightning Greaves is also an artifact, and uh, that seems more relevant. Lightning Greaves might come back, though, which is interesting. Probably not playing Memory Jar. I think it is Fencer, and I'm hoping for the Greaves to table. Oh, Counterspell seems great for us. I don't think it's a. I don't think it's a vent. I don't think it's an Emerald of Promised End deck, but it is a. a, a you know, oh, Snapcaster Mage! Now we're making it happen. Pentad Prism is actually terrible for us unless we like happen to have like a Lumbering Falls or a Mana Confluence to get the second counter. Either way, we're taking Snapcaster. We have Tinker, Factor Fiction, Force of Will, Upheaval, Dig Through Time, Spell Pierce, and Force Spike. I mean, at this point, Celestian Signet is great for us. I don't really care about probe too much. Pestermite could be good, but we're like we're never comboing with it. I think it's just signet here. It also makes it so we can play the uh, the upheaval if we want to. Ponder and a duplicate. Ooh, I like duplicate a lot. Wheel? What's wheel? Yeah, I feel like this deck wants a ponder. I'm tempted. I'm not. I'm not sold on Winter Orb. I think it hurts us more than it hurts others. I do like going turn two, like Shrine of Burning Rage into Tangle Wire. Uh, I, I think Wheels is powerful in certain decks. I mean, it's worse than times. It's it's worse than Time Twister, and Time Twister still doesn't get picked up that early. I mean, if you're playing Storm, I think it's it's a draw seven, which is fantastic, but. This is 22 cards, and I could play all of them. I would have liked a more efficient... Lotus Bloom seems pretty good. Huh. Lotus Bloom seems actually great for us. Forge Master came back. That's pretty good. I don't think we have enough artifacts to Forge Master, but maybe. Greaves? No greaves. Augur of Bolas. Well, you're you're a one three at the very at the very least. Um, whatever. I'll take you. Greaves come back to me. Actually, high tide on the turn we upheaval could be very good. Like if it's turn five and we go high tide with one mana, spend eight, activate a signet. We get nine mana. We upheaval. We play double signet or jace or something could be very good so that is worth considering have you done any no attacking steps yet no i have not but that sounds rough in this cube i mean you're basically your options are like storm make a million mana like that's pretty much one of your only ways to win if that's the case Uh, pack one, pick one was Dig Through Time. Oh, Mishra's Factory. That's actually a great pickup. It's also a great Tinker target. Man, no, no, no Lightning Greaves. That's super sad. Uh, Sword's not that great, but this sword does win the game if you connect once. And also, um, it is an artifact for our very, very relevant artifact deck. There was three artifacts. We'd sacrifice this guy, and like we don't have enough to sacrifice. I think we can cut the Forge Master. Attempt to not even play Academy. I 
Uh, I don't. I definitely don't think Winter Orb is better than Shrine. Winter Orb, well, Shrine is a removal spell, and we don't have many removal spells. Like, if they have a big creature, Shrine just kills it, which is really nice. But Winter Orb, like, Winter Orb can literally just. I mean, if we had a way to tap the Winter Orb to to prevent ourselves from getting wrecked, that's one thing. But that is not the case. Yeah, fifteen islands seems good. Um, how good is Augur in our deck? Four Spike, High Tide, Ponder Spell. Here's probably not very good, but maybe better than average. Ten, so twenty-five percent to hit. And then there's you look at three. Interesting. That's a lot. Winter Orb doesn't let them, doesn't let, don't let them cast things you need to remove. Yeah, right, but it also lets us not cast anything either. So, it's very interesting. Um, God, Augur of Bolas is so stupid. Is there a card I want over Augur? I mean, it's, I don't know if we're, I don't know if we are an upheaval deck. High Tide is the only card I care about for upheaval. My favorite legendary creature, probably Leobold. I mean, even if we have Academy on board, like how many how many artifacts do we really need in play for Academy to be worth it? Like three, four, and we only have like five early ones. So, it just doesn't seem very good. I mean, I'm playing Academy in the hopes that, like, we get two artifacts on board and Academy is just a just a, an ancient tomb. I think Augury is good in this deck. Yeah, we can just, we'll submit like this. This deck is interesting. I don't actually think it's terrible. I don't think it's that bad. The thing about upheaval is that even though it's meh, if we're able to go upheaval into two lands and then pass, like it's still very, very good reset button. So, especially with high tide, I think high tide makes it real strong. High tide is also good with any of these guys because we can just play them a little earlier than we should be able to. Like turn five, Sundering Titan or Mirror Battle Sphere. Also, with, with us having only islands, uh, Sundering Titan is probably pretty strong. Oh, uh, yeah, this hand's a snapper. Let's turn one ponder, turn two Boros Siggy. Oh, uh, I don't... Ooh, I'm going to actually ship this because we don't actually... Huh. One, two, three... No. All right, we're going to we're going to get a little risky here. We're going to draw the sword, play the Boros Signet, draw the Frost Titan and then we're going to tinker the uh And then we're just going to bring out um What's his name? Dude, this fly, this one fly is driving me actually insane. Inkwell Leviathan is what we're getting here. I wish we didn't draw the... Uh... Inkwell Leviathan seems pretty busted here.
Against the mono red deck, actually, they might not have very many answers for it. Uh, I don't think it's Sundering Titan. Yeah, we're just going to get Inky. This is a pretty good brick wall for uh, for this matchup, I imagine. Lightning strike our face. Matthew Ori, this is neither your a normal draft or your stip. Yep. I said lightning strike, but literally the same card. Burn, 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 burn. Seems good. Hey, that's pretty good. It's a thing we can play, and that's the important part. I'll take a high tide, sure. And two non-lands, okay. Yeah, we're just going to have to attack here because... We have to we have to start clocking them. Block. I mean, we could even just attack again, and then block with Mishra's factory. Is that good? Probably not. And then we just win the game with like no lands. This is this is an aggressive uh aggressive opening here. I guess hope you don't have an answer for Mishra's factory. Oh, get the block. Free blocks. I'm going to pump it because YOLO. So we can still get him with Inkwell Leviathan. This is rough because they can actually just... Like if they block here... Alright, alright. That's actually pretty good. So they have to block. And then we can counter spell whatever they do. So they block, they get back Dark Dwellers. They go to three. So even if they play Dark Dwellers again as a four four, they're still dead on board. Or no, no, they're gonna gain three, so they're gonna go to six. Yeah, us having Counterspell in hand here might be extremely relevant. Yeah, we could have forced like that, um, but they might, like, we didn't know that, you know? I, I was just, they were at six life, I didn't want them to go to nine, because they could have also had any removal spell in hand to kill Mishra's factory, which makes it very, very bad. Go to six, sure. I still got that lethal. Can you play an island? That would be great. Where's the spreading seas when you need it? Mm -hmm. yeah, Winsies. Ankle Leviathan, get it done. Oh, got him. Man, also on Mana Screw. Oh, I will keep I will keep Augur Bullis for spike hand for sure. Seems good. Boom 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 boom. Well, that's that's something. Yeah, the soundboard was actually... I had my desktop audio muted, so... 
It should be fixed now. I guess you might say. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! That should be better, I imagine. The old Tinky for Inky. Got him. Oh, no play, huh? Okay. We can actually wait a turn to cast Augur. We're in no rush here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's fine. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, we get an upheaval. This is two hits, man. What a time to be alive. Yep, that's a good one. Got him. Boom, ba -ba boom, ba -ba boom, ba -ba boom, boom, boom. The old two for one force spike, boy. That's a good feeling. Who's the got him guy? Got him guy? That is, uh, that is Filthy Frank from uh, YouTube. Otherwise known as George Miller. What happens if I equip here? Does he just die? I guess we'll find out. Burst lightning? Sure. This is fine. It is not great. Great success. It's uh, no good. I guess we'll just play Frost Titan next turn. That guy seems good, right? And then we can play Battlesphere the following turn. And then Battlesphere into Upheaval seems pretty game winning. Oh, I guess uh, me and Harmon JB had the same exact thought there. They have one card in hand. Oh, this is not going to go well. Mitra's factory keeping the Grim Lava Mancer at bay. <laughs> it's a frosty boy. Ten hour drive. Wife is driving now. Time to watch. Nice. Chef Snake. Well done. Well done. Uh oh. Is this an in response shoot you? That's that's a bold move. Alright. No more shootums left. I guess I'll just keep this guy tapped down. I don't want you blocking next turn when I go to town with my sword. Thank you. I cannot play anymore. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Let's do one of these jobbies. I think this is a stronger play than Battlesphere here. Whatever, we'll tap your Grim Lava Mancer down. Uh, 
Oh, look at all those lands we hit. Lands, Nyxthos, a Desperate Ritual, and a Magus of the Moon. All right, four, four, and a six, six. Seems good. With a Mishra's Factory, that is lethal. Abbot of Corn Kernel Keep. Mox Ruby. That's a good one. That is a good one. They have one card in hand, huh? Guess we'll play our land. Activate this guy. Venser. Bounce your abbot and try to kill you. So you can play something for three or less, but if you cost four, then we can just spell pierce it. Good game. It always amuses me when you say jobbies. <laughs> well, that's because jobbies are funny. Boop. Let's get him. Let's get him. Boop, boop, boop. Do your jobbies, you little creatures. I'll just tap this down now. Think how good his Grim Lava Mancer is, though. Think about it. Gee, Willikers. Uh I'm gonna mill I'm gonna put this on the stack now. Wow, 2-0 with our with our with our deck in the first game. That's impressive. Well, I guess in the first match. One, been watching GDQ Penance Buck. How dare you? I was wondering where you've been, Kerwit. <laughs> it's fair, though. Fair. Uh, GDQ's good stuff, man. I, I, would not, I would not begrudge anyone for that decision. All right. I will join this match arena. Yes. Oh, keep this hand all day. Suspend my bloom. Ponder. They're going to be like, this guy is storming out on turn one. Oh, I like it. Hmm. This is probably not what we want to keep, though. We have enough lands. We have a shrine. I really want something more substantial. Like an inkwell leviathan. <sighs> Soul ring, huh? Okay. Well, Soul ring into Azoria Signet. Well, now I never want to take down Counterspell Mana. I might actually just play Shrine here. Maybe we just Shrine him in a million turns. Nah, I can take two turns off to uh, to keep up counter spells. But dun dun, but dun dun dun. They didn't do anything. They like make five mana on turn one. Don't do anything with it. Let's tangle the let's tangle all the wires. Okay, we're not tangling any wires, I guess. That's cool. Hmm. 
Now they're going to do something we'll never have an answer to ever. It's going to be a planeswalker, and then we're going to be like, well, mistakes were made. Wow. They're going all in on whatever this is. Teferi? It's going to be a Teferi. Oh, now it's going to be something for six mana. Fast Bond. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. This is very interesting. I don't really want to exile my Snapcaster Mage, unfortunately. When does this guy come down? Next turn? That's a Battle Sphere next turn. Ooh. really don't want XL Snappy with uh, Counterspell and Ponder in the graveyard, but boy. I mean, if they do something unexciting here... I mean, this is a lot of land they have, but... Okay, that's just more land. That's gonna kill you. You'll be dead soon. I mean, if they play like a Nicol Bolas, we're definitely force, force of willing it. Goblin Dark Dwellers. You have one mana left? Yeah, we're just force of willing this guy. You have time... Uh, what can you even hit? Wheel of Fortune again? Yeah, we're not going to say. We're going to say no to that. That was your big turn? That was your big finish? Where is your big finish now? Well, also the graveyard. Oh, Jace Beller, no? Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. Uh, I have some feelings about the Rochester Special Draft at the Pro Tour in this channel, but uh, I haven't gone over them yet. Choose four cards you control. Boop, 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 boop. So long, lands. <laughs> Guess we're just getting there with this guy. Uh, no, I'm good. Man, they just won two flips in a row. Unbelievable. They still have seven mana on board, which is pretty comical. Oh, I see. I see how it's going to be. All right. Seems good. Oh, the first whiff. That is unfortunate. Wow, Mox Ruby. Lion's Eye Diamond. Wow, look at this deck. Look at this soaring Mana Crypt Mox Ruby Lion's Eye Diamond deck. Look at it go. And a Doretti. Just a 4 7? You have no cards in hand? Block it? Hmm. 
It's very strange. Sure. Not sure if we get out of this. To ready on board is pretty rough, but I guess we can just attack. Sure. Errata nerf battle ball? What was the errata? That's pretty cheap. Trying to think what's in our deck. We have a Venser. Is Venser in the graveyard? No, we can actually hit Venser, bounce the... Yeah, actually, this could be good. We're at 13, though. 4, 5, 6. Yeah, that's actually fine. Let's go high tide. We, if we hit Island Venser, it's actually pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we hit neither of those things. So we're just going to an island. And I guess a spell pierce. I mean, we hit one of those things, I guess, which is the island. But I don't think it's Frost Titan. I think we're a little far from Frost Titan. I also don't know if spell pierce is that great for us. I guess we'll just take Frost Titan. You ready for the vent, sir? Signet. That's sad. Oh, Venture's on the bottom. Good call. Good call. Strip mine. <laughs> Where's your crucible of worlds? Yep, you got him. They're ready. No more guys. Like, I think there was a time where they actually should have sacrificed. Oh, like, maybe that wouldn't have worked. That wouldn't have worked, though, because it's just too much work. Oh, 
Well, they kept one card in hand. Ah, Karn. Sign of Urza. Seems good. Ah, 7-7. Seven, seven. Huh. Oh my god, if we hit a land here, we win the game, don't we? Land. Oh, this could be a very good game, boys. No Eldrazi in your deck. Whoo! <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> oh, man. Good times. Frost Titan OP, man. That was such gas, dude. Based on, like, deck quality, I feel like we had no, no, no right to win that match, dude. Wow. Sort of body and mind is no joke, dude. Uh, having both of these guys in our hand is pretty rough. Although I really like Ponder and Force Spike. I'm still going to ship it because this is basically a mold of five already. Oh, this is not much better. We're on the draw. We should be able to hit lands. We did it. All right. Sort of body and mind is a hell of a drug. Oh my god, this fly is like literally right up in my face. It's unbelievable to me. I'm trying to get it, and I'm going to look ridiculous doing it, but... Boy, it feels necessary, because it's real frustrating. Why are bugs so obnoxious, man? Get out of my face, bug! Man, where's my force spike now? He's gonna fast bond. Sure. This is amazing. Wow, bugs asked the same about me. What in the earth? <laughs> Discard time spiral, draw a card. Sure. This is all very interesting. I have no idea what just happened. Yeah, I'll take a Foff. Augur is three for four. Lumbering, all right, discard two lands. Our hand is super expensive right now. Let's just hit this Duretti, I guess. Augur of Bolas, why can't you be an artifact creature? Strip mine. Sure. Joke's on you. Never didn't have it. <laughs> I mean, they're just probably looking for Wheel of Fortune here, I imagine. 
Land? Can we oh man, we're so lucky. Oh yeah, bottom pile all day. Oh yes, 100% bottom pile. Sometimes you sundering titan all their lands away. And they don't actually have any good artifacts to welder back, but I guess they could discard a mere battle sphere here. That is a thing they can do. Wheel of Fortune. You gave me this spell pierce, so I will assume you know it exists. Discard up to two bros. Baleful Strix, okay. It's hmm. an interesting choice. That seems fine. Actually, it doesn't seem good. Uh, we do have Snapcaster Mage, so that's worth considering. Uh, let's go Island, Academy Ruins, Jace, Foro Signet, Island, Tinker. Well, speak of the devil. Uh, we're going to get a land and probably a snapcaster. I would be surprised if they actually had any lands they could find with a bloodstained mire. All right, well. Hey, it's Mere Battle Sphere. Sometimes that's all you need. I'm surprised they only have 12 cards in their deck. Wow. This Goblin Welder is actually 
doing some work for us, for them, on us. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, it seems like Battle Ball is definitely their win condition here. I feel like this game went all the right ways for us with uh, Sundering Titan. With the count, with the spell pierce on Wheel of Fortune, but then like we just haven't been able to land anything worthwhile here. I really wish my my kingdom for a uh, my kingdom for a disallow. <laughs> If this was in our hand, we could also have gotten that over Sundering Titan, but I'm pretty sure we still would have probably gotten the Sundering Titan. We killed three lands. Which is pretty huge. Yeah, I think we're just passing here. Oh, they have a land. That is impressive. Thirst for knowledge. No, that is your last card. Sure. Wow, an emblem. Oh, this is actually insane, because then they can actually sack this to get back, like, Baleful Strix and then get it back at the end of the turn. Yeah, that should be game, actually. I don't think we can... I don't think we can beat that emblem. That's pretty ridiculous, actually. Uh, I didn't. We didn't snap Spell Pierce because I like the idea of snapping a Factor Fiction or a Dig Through Time later in the game. I also don't want to have another guy on the board because if he's able to commit, uh, if he's able to go tap uh, Mirror Battle Sphere and all four tokens, it's possible that we could actually equip the Sword of Body and Mind. They had ten cards in the deck. It's possible we equip the Sword of Body and Mind and attack and kill them. Uh, and the less creatures we have on board, the more incentivized they are to attack with all of their guys. So. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. This hand is probably the best one yet. It's a little slow, but they might have taken out a braid. Maybe, probably not. Um, Yeah, we're shuffling this. Reasonable. Thank you. Uncle Fish Dinner, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yep. Why would you play this on turn one? That's very interesting. I think we're just passing here. You have taken Paul Chion's place in my daily life. Appreciate that. I, uh... Paul's a good dude. Look, they already took three. That's so weird. You could have just played this next turn. Oh, no. Definitely not. <sighs> One flip. Dang it.
Baleful Strix, alright. So you took three damage to play Baleful Strix? Wow. Here's Wheel of Fortune. No, no Wheel of Fortune. Okay. It's pretty good. I guess we just Jace here. We actually don't have enough for... No, we can't use that, actually, unfortunately. We just got a Jace here. Like this. Well, dang it. I'll always yield to that. Oh, uh, I'm never I I've never been a big Starbucks fan actually because I don't drink much coffee. So, not necessarily. Always with the Doretti's. Mom's Spaghetti's. Discarded a Braid. Drew a Mox. Okay. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here comes the old. Sure. Upheaval's great here, but not really. <laughs> yeah, our old hand was significantly better. That's sad. Uh, my favorite Mountain Dew flavor, I drink Diet Mountain Dew, so I don't have a flavor, really. Unfortunately. If they made, like, Baja Blast and Diet, I'd probably drink that. Uh, Inspector Gadget. Do, 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 do. Wow, Mox Diamond. What is going on right now, dude? Burning of Zinyi incoming. It's, it's pretty baller. Let's both draw because YOLOs. Okay, well. Pretty sure this is a Tangle Wire turn. We gotta tap four things. We have to tap three, so we can go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, or we can just. I am afraid of the one, two. Th so if they tap, what do they? What do they tap right here? They tap Mox Diamond, Lotus Petal, this and this, and they still have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So that doesn't do much, and actually if they still play Burning, it's pretty brutal for us. So we'll just untap and pass. You endured harsh criticisms for drinking Diet Mountain Dew? That's really weird. I would not have imagined that. I can't even imagine what kind of harsh criticism someone received for drinking a diet beverage. That's very strange. Have you tried the deck building PC game? I have not yet. Ok, 
Okay, it does not look like... Okay, now it looks like a burning of Zinyi. Yeah, Die Dr. Rubber and Die Mountain Dew are very, very good. I'm just going to die in A and W right now, so. Oh, Lion's Eye Diamond. It's interesting. Huh. I can just go this, this, this on turn one, this on turn one. Play land. I don't know what's going on. Uh, why do I drink diet soda over other liquid alternatives? Because diet soda has zero calories, and if I'm drinking like four or five drinks a day, uh, I don't feel like having an extra 900 calories of just sugar and soda in my system. So I prefer diet drinks. Wheel of Fortune again. Wow. Our hand is not great, so that actually is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they're going to crack the Lion's Eye Diamond, too. Oh, they didn't crack the Lion's Eye Diamond. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, that's really interesting. I actually don't care about a high tide at all. I'd rather have the Mishra's Factory and the Venser. Um, this is really interesting. They have six cards left in their deck. Like, this is probably never resolving. I don't care about Spell Pierce. Actually, maybe I do, because in order for your duress to get all, to go off, you have to actually do the thing. It's all very strange. What up, kind buds? Welder, sure. Wow, how nice. Interesting. I guess that's actually just to get the Mana Crypt off the board for them. That's pretty good. Five, six, seven, eight mana. Probably play Mishra's Factory just so we have it on board in case they do Time Spiral. Keep up four spike, funny enough.
We have eight minutes, they have seven, so time is pretty close. I think we just actually play Battlesphere here. One, two, three. Oh, uh, we can we I mean we could cast I mean it's gonna be very hard to sneak in a Vencer when they're gonna they have four cards left in their deck and three cards in hand and presumably one of them is time spiral, so What in the earth, dude? Yep, that guy's gone. One, two, three, four, five. They can make seven mana. Yep. They have four cards left in their deck. That's unreal. Well, that's a card, isn't it? So we can go blue, black, Blue, white, green, black, red. Okay. Is that what we do? That seems pretty good. Yeah, we can tinker for... Oh, Sundering Titans in the graveyard! I guess we get Inkwell Leviathan. We get Inkwell, right? Inkwell's still only been the deck, right? Like, Inkwell's insane here. I mean, they have an island. This guy has Island Walk. So, you know, that's cool. Nope, one, two. I'm going to attack their face here because that puts them down to seven. If they want to car and kill their island, that is more than fine. Wow, they just discarded their hand. Mirror Battle Sphere, Mana Cru Oh, I see what they're doing. That's cute. Actually, this is insane. Hold on. Um, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Nope. You. God, signets are so obnoxious. Bounce your signet. Negate. Let's make sure we play to land here. Yeah, I can't shroud, but or can't uh can't sword because shroud. I mean, if they time spiral, I don't think four spikes really doing it, but we actually have no incentive not to. Well, I guess we do because we could actually draw counter spell. Mirror 
Sphere, Battle Sphere. All right, this time you got it. Oh, are we time spiraling? Oh, we're, they're totally time spiraling here. From one card in their deck to a million. Oh, yes, Exiled the Island. <laughs> Such gas. Oh, comical. We're so close. I think we could have bopped Karn for one, but the problem is... So what they're going to have... One, two, three, four, five, six mana, seven, eight, nine, ten total mana. No, we'll actually just let this happen because we get Counterspell, perhaps. Spell Pierce is just a better. It's just a better. I feel like Shrine is real close here. You got it. This dig through time is real off. Was keeping Venser for Spiral the right pl uh we had to Venser, otherwise they bring out Mirror Battle Sphere and they don't go to they don't We wanted to put them to seven so that Ink Inqu Leviathan is lethal. And they had an island at the time. Sure. Well, that, that's huge. Really? Interesting. You have three cards left, so basically whatever you have, whatever you have now is, is what you have. Really? That's unbelievable, dude. Uh, we'll keep the rest up. I don't know what's going to happen, so... Use attack with 7-Eleven? That seems terrible. They don't have an island, so Island Walk is not as good. Yep, two ten tens seems good. Yep, keep on, keep on, keeping on. Strip mine. Sure. Whatever, you're just making my dig better. I don't even care. Yeah, this is like a game of Commander. There's so much going on right now. And it's so much so unexpected. Like, it's not anything that I can follow. I'm like, oh, you're playing this, so I expect this. Dig through time. Make my dig through time better. Sure. Three minutes on the clock. Wheel of Fortune. No. No. Please leave. <laughs> oh, that's good. Don't play around the spell pierce. Love it. Oh, they could actually Goblin Welder the Lotus Petal back. That, that would be pretty sick. Yep, and they do it. Dang it. That's so good. gonna exile the shrine this time yep I mean I don't think this game is gonna last six turns so 
Can we just give them an island? Oh, Snapcaster? Nothing good there, though. Let's draw an island. Ponder? Alright, I'll ponder. Oh, Frost Titan seems great here. So do these, all these cards seem great. Um, let's go Factor Fiction, Island, Frost Titan, No Shuffle. Let's just tap one of these idiots. All right. 1010 Karn tokens are pretty good. Sure, dude. You got it. Uh, you can have... You can have nature's claim. Do they have to win this game in... Sure. Do they have to win this game in two minutes and five seconds? Doesn't seem super likely. Sacrifice Battle Ball to get Mox Ruby back. Sacrifice... Mox Ruby to get Battle Ball back. Yeah, this is a, this is a whole to-do. Sure. Fence that has not been the case for quite a while. <laughs> get rid of Tangle Wire. This guy's a 15-15, huh? That's pretty good. No blocks. Jace dies. We draw land. We play Sundering Titan. All right, let's kill Swamp, Mountain, this guy, and this guy. And one of ours, I suppose. Eh, just gonna pass here. I don't really foresee you doing anything super exciting. Sure. Uh, we're just gonna get the sword here. We have a Snapcaster and a Dig and a Spell Pierce and a Ponder, so. They got rid of their Karn token. That's fascinating. They're just going to keep getting back Battle Spheres. Can we just draw Upheaval? That would be actually the sickest, right? Does this unsuspend this turn? Because that would be sweet. If we can hit upheaval with the unsuspend. Upheaval one time. There's no upheaval here. Well, that is sad. Oh, I'll choose pile one. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Um, I guess we're tinkering this guy to get Mirror Battle Sphere. No, that guy's exiled. So, I guess we'll play a land, play a Signet. Are we dead? Probably not. Yeah, our Karn restarts on 14. I don't really see that happening. I mean, they get Alpha here. They might just win if they Alpha. We go block, block, block. Oh, they're just doing this again? All right, well, all of these guys are lethal now, so we got a triple block. And just block with Sun Titan. And by Sun Titan, I mean Frost Titan. This game is actually ridiculous, so I would understand if anyone didn't want to watch this ridiculousness. Um, we have three mana. We're going to have to crack this. blue snap green 
get. Dig through time. Seems better than fact or fiction here. Let's cast it. One, two, three. Now, go to you. Island, Jace, Mishra. Upheaval, Tolarian Academy. Uh, let's go Tolarian Academy. Activated for two, three. Play Signet. Play Snapcaster. Let's play Ponder. And then we'll just pass because now they have to do things. Yep. Yeah, we're probably just going to lose now because of time, so. Oh well. Oh, wow. All right, we have to have six here, even though we're on. All right, see if that does it. They have five seconds and we are F6. So I think we just won the game with two seconds on the clock. <laughs> That's miserable. That's actually miserable. Oh, I didn't deserve to win. Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know Magic had to deserve to win. I could have sworn we played amazingly. We played to our outs. We played to upheaval. We upheavaled. They had five life. They had a mana crypt in play. And we had a 2-1 in play that could actually really, really oppress them. I feel like we completely deserve to win. But I guess uh, we have different opinions on that. Which is fine. If there was no timer, I don't think we would have lost. Like, we had Force of Will. We can Force of Will their main play. They went to five because of Fast Bond. And uh, we could have literally put them to three, which means they die to any Mana Crypt activation. Like, I just don't think that's accurate. Also, that's not how deserving to win works. Like, whatever. I'm pretty sure their Nature's Claim was in the graveyard. Did they not play the Nature's Claim? One undeserved bug. Kerwa, thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. That was just, I mean, that was just not fun to play just because it was such an emo like, it was such a grindy, like, exhausting match. And then we end up losing to literal two seconds on their clock, dude. Remember, it is still Twitch chat. <laughs> fair. Fair. This Talarian Academy and Tinker are looking pretty sad right now, I'll be honest with you. Oh, sure. Okay. I think also, I think it's almost the opposite to say like, I like that game was an uphill battle and I, I would even say that I deserved to win it because I played my best. But it, I wasn't going to win it. I think those are completely different statements. Um, just Tanglewire here. 
Top down three. We don't do anything though. B Conrad, good games. I mean, it just it felt really. It, I it, it was not thrilling to actually lose to the clock when you had two seconds on on, and I had five because I was literally reading your message and like talking to Twitch chat instead of F sixing. So like it was literally a technicality that we lost the game on, and I just it's it's just a not a great feeling. Um, yeah, with learn Academy and Tinker in hand, Tango Wire seems like a pretty solid play here oh okay i guess you agree um barrel rights gristle brand noxious gear hulk in the graveyard i guess we're just dead here right i actually stopped paying attention because it said like it was at two and i was like well he's gonna take a couple seconds to get to our turn and we're at five seconds and so then i'm like chatting with you guys and like reading your messages so like what a, what a good a game and then literally my clock's ticking down and I'm just like, oh, I, you want me to F6 some more? Cool. I guess I'll lose the game. So that was, that was a fun loss. <sighs> Always a pleasure. Cool. Yep. Go to the next game. Sorry, can't deal with Gristle Brand. All right. Well, this actually this draft went from amazing to uh pretty pretty un unimpressive and and miserable. <laughs> so that's cool. I'm trying to like recover from that last round, but it was actually pretty emotionally draining. Pretty mentally draining, I would say. I don't know, fighting till the end and then losing by a literal 2 second clock differential when it actually says 0 on the clock is that doesn't feel like a any kind of consolation, unfortunately. I mean, Sword of Flight and Shadow doesn't do anything. It gets us past, like, a Gristle Brand, but we don't have enough creatures for it to be even relevant. And, like, we're definitely not getting anyone back from the graveyard, that's for sure. I will play first. The Nemo, totally not your fault, buddy. No, no worries at all, man. Not your fault at all. The sand is actually great, so. Definitely is his fault, don't lie. Oh, that's brutal. I don't want any of these, but I do want to land. So do I just take them all? I don't know. Because as long as we can tinker, I think we're good. I'm going to any order them, and I'm going to shuffle and hopefully just hit a land in the next two cards. This was not one of them. Also not one of them. All right. Well, we had a good run. <sighs> this is unfortunate. Oh, man. Literally go from losing to, to a literal time discrepancy to literally losing to not being able to play Magic against the turn two Gristle Brands every game. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. We're having a good time. Magic is a fun game. B Conrad, thank you so much for the for the, for the sub. Appreciate it. Oh well, that's actually that should keep us alive until 
next turn. Maybe we're not dead. Maybe the Vintage Cube has uh, has spared us yet again. Of course, I don't want to get rid of my Factor Fiction, but I guess we'll have to. Watch them counter this. Watch them remand this. They're totally going to remand it like, like dicks. No way, dude. Get out of here. What kind of scumbag remands the the lotus the lotus bloom on one mana? I would, I would do it. So this is four. Yeah, we just got we got this. Long hair don't care, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is it. This is our moment. I think we're still dead, because we have literal one mana. Turn your clock around. We both like fair magic. Sure we do. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Pierce him! <laughs> Got him! Put your dude in the trash can! I think we just won this game. Even if they reanimate a Gristlebrand, like, they don't have the life to, to draw cards and they can't block this. So, uh... Cool. Yep, don't care. Good game. I have no idea what just happened, but that's the thing, isn't it? Man, they don't have no Liliana of the Veil. Shoot. <laughs> Who needs more than one island? Please. Alright. Even if we lose this game, I feel like we put up a good fight here, so I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. The salt has, uh, has, has, has left the system, I believe. <sighs> God, Magic is a, an emotionally draining game, man. This seems okay. But I, it's not broken is the problem. Like, they're gonna do some... They're gonna do some some unfair shit, and we're gonna be like, "Oh, oh, we got a second turn an off color signet." Here we go. Oh, nothing. I mean, I'll probably just factor fiction if they do something here. This is amazing. What a what a beautiful slow hand. Do you just borrow signet auger? No, we're gonna foff. <laughs> I don't think I need a salt like because I feel like the salt is already present, you know? So I need something uh unsalty, like a salt removal lick. I don't, I don't think that's a thing. Charcoal tablets. Are there charcoal tablets? An anti an anti salt lick. I don't want this inkwell in the graveyard. That's real sad. God, that's so good. Oh, actually, we do because if they have exhum, but if they have reanimate, I don't want them taking it. So this is real awkward. I guess we can just hard cast it, especially with this mana. I'm just gonna give us all give us all five. Give us that big pile. My god. <sighs> I 
What is happening right now? <sighs> this, is, this is a real, this is amazing. Oh my god. Okay, we did it. We did it. Um, I get the feeling they just have remand in hand. I want to choose pile two. Like, we have a land. We have another land. We're landed up. Just play Augur here. Oh, High Tide seems insane, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. So we can actually play this guy for 9. Nope, not great. 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I'll just take Spell Pierce. They haven't been doing anything exciting yet, so. Plus we can, sp we can sort of body in mind this guy next turn, which seems pretty strong. But then again, they are reanimating, so maybe we don't want them to do that. Kermit, this stream brought to you by Frank's Salty Tears, the perfect beverage for all winners and high rollers. Brought to you by Frank Gorth, makers of Mike B. If you can find a better Mike B, you buy it. Wow, that's actually amazing. I'm really impressed. Also, thank you for the uh, this Frank's Salty Tears buck. I appreciate it. Where did Lafof go? What does that mean? Oh, from, uh, I don't know. Lafof and Elk Tears have both been, uh, they're hanging out in New York, actually. They sent me a text message the other day. And they were like, here, share this with the stream. And I didn't, because it was on my phone. I didn't want to, like, give anything away. But yeah, here's Lafof and, and Elk Tears eating tacos. So, that's where they are right now. And it looks pretty delicious. I'm jealous. I'm jelly. Um, they know we have this, so I'm going to deny you the ability to put things in your graveyard if I can. Four, five, six. One, two, three, one, two, and then we can still snap and do something else. I don't think we equip here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I, just, I just feel so bad. Four, five, six, seven. This is eight. We're actually one turn away from casting this guy. One land away from casting this guy. Yeah, I can't actually equip this in good conscience if we don't have Spell Pierce up uh, to deal with whatever they reanimate. I'd rather just keep Snapcaster and dig through time up. That feels better. All right, I'm comfortable with this game. Like, they haven't done anything yet. And uh, if we can draw a Sundering Titan, that'd be gas. Can we dig through time for a Sundering Titan? That seems really sweet. They have six cards, though. I'm quite curious as to what they could be. One, two, three, four. Oh, ha 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 ha! I'm just gonna take Island Tinker here and put all these islands on the bottom, which is great. Is 
I could remand this, but I don't really care. They have no black sources now, which is pretty good. We can also equip and keep up Spell Pierce, which is insane. I think we just won this game. Gristlebrand in the graveyard. Uh, I mean, if they go, if they go swamp into two or three mana reanimate spell, it's pretty rough. If we have Venser, I guess. Just bounce it. If they want to take seven, they go to nine and then they die. Oh, we're definitely filling the yard. They have no, they have no black mana. It's turn seven. They played one black mana. I don't think they're slow rolling black mana here. Okay, maybe they're, or they top decked it. Either way. I mean, we have both Venser and Snapcaster. We untap, we keep up Venser, and we keep up Spell Pierce, which is a lot of... Also, our opponent is in our chat, which is kind of cool. So, they're probably listening to every plan that we have, which is nice. Not sure if that helps or not, but hope you're enjoying the stream. More black sources. And an unburial rites. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep up two uh two counter spells, I guess. And that's the end. Alright, so ideally you were stream sniping and you still couldn't win a match, but that's good. <laughs> anyway, uh yeah. The Neo 6, despite that round two, which I still feel like we were in it, despite the time, went 2-0. I 2-1. I'm actually pretty impressed. This deck seemed to be pretty good. The Nemo 6, thank you so much for the for the support. Hope the stipulation was awesome. Uh I think it went quite well considering the limitations. And uh that was cool. So yeah. If you guys uh, want to support the stream yourself, check out my Twitch profile. You can do that, or you can check out my Patreon page. It's also linked in the description below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you next time. Twitch viewers, I'm not leaving. I'm just saying goodbye on the YouTube video. Thanks for watching.